Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Tonight's video is mainly going to be for a plasma cutter. Somebody uh, drawing something for lasering might be a benefit from this. But we've got this text, and I've already broken, you know, I've typed them out or I broke them up. I don't like that and sign, so we're going to pick another and sign. That one looks better. We're going to go up here, we're going to break text apart. break text apart. Now what we're going to do, we're going to lasso them all. We're going to left click, right click, and we need to break, convert this to a curve. Let's just convert them all to a curve. And then that, what is done there, it's, it's, uh, then you can break them apart. Okay, that one's already broken apart, and you can tell by if you just hit on that. Well. Hmm. So you might have to do each individual letter, because you're going to need to get these O's and other parts out of here. And I'll show you just in a second. And you really only need to do the ones that are have a, something in the middle. So all I'm doing is breaking them apart. Now you ought to be able to get each individual piece. Now lasso it all and bring it where you think you're going to want it. Lasso them all, bring it to where you think you're going to want it. And it's always pretty good to have two letters. Now this E is not going to work. So you're going to need to lasso the whole E or that circle inside the E will move. We're just going to move it over a little bit. Now let's zoom in here a little bit. And this is where you're going to want to set your nudge factor a little high, like a quarter of an inch. And when you click on that inner deal, it's going to tell you one curve. Hold down your shift key. Now it says two objects, three objects. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And it says twelve down here. Go up to arrange, group, then move them over that quarter of an inch. Now you can take lasso all these and weld them. Bring those back in, and that's why it's important to have a quarter of inch because you're going to put it exactly back where it was. Let's color fill it with black, and then that way, one, you know you don't have any leaks until you kind of you kind of get to see what it looks like. But we're going to back up here. Now you're going to take your shape tool. Now all fonts will not work. This has 345 nodes. That'll be way too many for a plasma cutter. Let's reduce it by 20. Now it's changed the letters quite a bit. So this particular font's not going to be real good, but you can, you can, you can play with it. It's going to be your deal. Um, you know, it's going to be a font that, you know, something that you're making. So it might look pretty cool. Just kind of, you can play around with it. I'm not going to waste too much time on the video. And you could actually go through here now and even though that font's probably kind of needed because it changes the and to the, but you could take it out. That doesn't look too bad. Take that out and then maybe make this into a little bit of a slope. And then let's color fill it. And that doesn't look half bad. Now, if you're a, a plasma cutter, you want to not have it color field, and you also do not want to have anything else on your page, because if you save it as a DXF, and one way to check in Corel is hit your F4 key, you know, bring up everything that's on your page or off your page, so that way that you know that this is all you have, and this is pretty little. 
So let's, whoop. I need to group all this. And then you can make it bigger to whatever size you need to cut out. You know, right now it's still only six inches, which would be pretty little to cut out. The bigger your item when you're cutting something out with the plasma cutter, you know, the better you're going to be. And you can go through here and, you know, change the change this E to make it look like that. It just takes a little time, but I'm not going to take the time in this video, so it won't be so long. Hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.